Hey guys, Meteor Ronald's Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. And man, the Tetons got hit 16 inches last 24 hours. <laughs> so I'm saying it is going to be one of those snow bullseyes. The Tetons, and it's not done. You've still got a lot of snow yet to go for the Tetons. And there are some other snow bullseyes as well. But let me take you into my bullet points. Here's what I'm seeing this morning. Um, so here's the pattern. Storm systems will hit the West Coast, California, Oregon in particular. And then they're going to send pieces of energy into the interior all the way through 223. So that's the way this pattern is going to be. There are several different areas of low pressure that will hit the West Coast and then move into the interior. There are a few different snow bullseyes. One of them is the Tetons. So you've got snow now through 216. Um, and then another a storm system with snow 218 through 220. So there's a lot of snow yet to fall. The Sierra, you've got feet of snow in some places yet to go. And you can see the timeline there this afternoon through tomorrow morning. 217, 218. I won't run through all these. Northwest Colorado, there's a bit of a snow bullseye up around Steamboat, Buffalo Pass, Cameron Pass. You can see the timeline for that. Um, the Wasatch could end up being a bullseye. I've got one to two feet, probably two feet on the way when all's said and done. You can see the timeline for that. And then the Northeast, you've got a little bit of snow coming. Um, the afternoon of 215 into 216 and another storm for 223. So we'll look at all that in this update. I want to go back and show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning and just kind of give you the lay of the land. So little storm system right here crossing the interior. That's what's producing, generating that snow across the Tetons and in parts of northern Colorado. A little bit on the way, a little light snow today for the Wasatch. It does pick up tomorrow. Um, now behind it, you've got a storm system here. You've got uh, another storm system behind that. So all this is going to ride the subtropical jet into the west coast. So we'll all be ushered in and then pieces of those storm systems. They're not going to completely hold together, but pieces of them will get blown into the interior and affect the mountain areas. Um, here's the forecast jet stream. By end of day today, you can see the pattern west-east, everything gets moved in. Here's 215, same kind of thing. 216, now here comes the big trough of low pressure, the main core of all this, moving towards the west coast. There's 220, now moves into the interior, and then it blows on through. So the pattern will continue to about 222, 223. Let's put some precip on it. That's your current state of affairs by this afternoon. Some light snows across the Wasatch, central to northern mountains of Colorado, a little more generous snow across the Tetons, but look at the flow that's coming from west to east. So by 2.15, all the snow intensifies across the Tetons, Idaho, the Wasatch, and in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Um, you can see that into 2.15. There's 2.16, everything's sort of riding that frontal boundary, and then it moves away, get a little bit of a break. Here comes the next storm system, 2.18. That moves through, another storm system comes through, 2.19 into 2.20, and the low pressure moves out and you can see it crossing the four corners in Colorado through 222 and some additional moisture, 222, 223, riding that, that fast jet. So there's a lot of moisture. It doesn't all come at once. It comes in definitely different pieces, but uh, there's a fair amount here in the forecast. Let me show you the grand total map. So today through the 23rd, it's easy to spot the, the bullseyes. Northwest Colorado, the Tetons, probably the Wasatch with a couple of feet there. And in the, uh, the Sierra, you're looking at one to three, maybe four feet of snow there across uh, parts of the Sierra. And quite a bit of snow for parts of Oregon as well, with potentially three feet there. Looking pretty good for Sun Valley and Brundage. Let me break it down by period. So here's uh, today through tomorrow. Next 48 hours, another foot on the way for the Tetons. Probably six to eight for the Wasatch, mainly tomorrow. There's a little bit today, but mainly tomorrow. Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado go four to 10, and one to two feet for parts of Oregon at Timberline and Bachelor, six to 15 for parts of the Sierra. 216 through 218, probably four to six for the Wasatch, another foot for the Tetons. If I were gonna park myself someplace and ski, it'd be the Tetons over this period. And in Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, another four to eight inches. So you got four to eight, another four to eight, and in the Sierra, potentially 6 to maybe 12. All right, last period, 219 through 223, another foot in the Tetons, about a foot for the Wasatch, and potentially 6 to 10 or 6 to 12 in parts of the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So that's where the bulk of the snow will be, especially in northwest Colorado, again, up around Steamboat, Buff Pass, Cameron Pass, 
the numbers tend to maximize a little bit more with this type of flow. And in the Sierra, potentially another one to two uh, feet, maybe three feet across Mammoth. So um, doing really well there, maybe one to two feet through Oregon and Washington State. All right, let's go to the Northeast. Um, so most of this happens um, late 215 into early 216, and there's another storm on 223. So that's where we get the bulk of the accumulation from those two time frames. Anywhere in purple is over a foot, and that's quite a few areas. But again, this is the combination of about two different storm systems. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. We'll end on the grand total map here. Again, 214 through 223, definitely some big time snows. Um, definitely a few different bullseyes. Again, anywhere in purple is over a foot. Enjoy it, and thanks for tuning in here this morning. Take care.